How to install Blockstrap. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be walking you through on how you're going to go ahead and install Blockstrap for Roblox in 2025. Now, if you're someone who loves customizing your Roblox experience or improving your launch performance or even experimenting with alternate clients, Blockstrap is a must have. And by the end of this video, you will have it fully installed, configured, and optimized. So to start things off, let's talk about what Blockstrap really is. Now, Blockstrap, as we all know, is a lightweight custom Roblox bootstrapper. Now, it allows you to gain greater control over how Roblox actually launches. It can bypass certain limitations in the official Roblox launcher, customize themes, use multiple accounts easily, set custom launch arguments, and even improve performance. Now, whether you're a developer or just someone who wants a smoother and more flexible Roblox experience, Blockstrap can actually help you take your game to the next level. Now, what do we actually need to do to get Blockstrap? So first of all, you come over to blockstrap.org. Usually you download it from their website, but you can also use the Reddit forum that they have. Okay. Now, what system requirements and pre-done preparations do you need to actually access Blockstrap for yourself? Now, before we begin, make sure your Windows system meets a little basic requirements. Okay. So first off, you need to have a running Windows 10 or 11. Make sure you already have the Roblox client installed and you have admin permissions on the PC that you're using. Now, Blockstrap is not available on Mac OS or mobile. And don't worry, this isn't a hack or an exploit. So it simply works as a front end to the existing Roblox installation, which means you don't need to fear the, uh, you know, s scary part of getting banned or maybe even being blocked by the Roblox servers. Okay, this is totally legit. And it's just something to enhance your Roblox experience. It doesn't give you any specific cheats or it doesn't give you any specific exploits that will, you know, change your game in any way or any matter. Now, to download Blockstrap, what you do is you go over to the official GitHub page that Blockstrap contains, which is github.com slash Blockstrap Labs slash Blockstrap. Now, once you're there, scroll down to the releases section. Now, generally over here in releases, you're going to find the general download files. OK, so when you come down over here, simply come over where it's going to show you all the releases. So in this case, we have this release. So Blockstrap version 2.9. Now, once you're in the releases, you can also read in the description to see what it gives you. So you get custom themes, new option for the bootstrapper style. You can create or import custom themes by yourself, background updates, return of multi-instancing, and a whole lot more. So once you've gone and actually seen the different versions, go ahead and download the exe file that they give you. So simply click on it. And as you can see, Blockstrap is going to start downloading the exe file. Now, even if you choose the zip version, you can do that by simply choosing the source code. And as you can see, it's going to give you the zip file. But it's the same thing. Doesn't really make a lot of difference. Now, once you've done that, you're going to simply run the installer, which is the exe file. Now. Before that, it will say that you might need to install or update your .NET to run this application. So if you want to do that, simply go ahead and, you know, uh, make your .NET updated. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and run the Blockstrap application once again. OK, and once you run it, you know, uh, again, you can see the whole Blockstrap setup files over here. You can see all of its data right here. So this is the Blockstrap file installed. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to need the initial setup and configuration. So after installation, you are going to be greeted with these files and you're going to need to choose between default and advanced filing. And once you've done that, the great thing for reducing your startup time would be to go ahead and enable the fast launch option while you're doing your setup. Now, what you do once all of this is downloaded, you're going to take this Blockstrap file. 
okay? And what you're going to be doing is you're going to go ahead and search your Roblox add file directory, okay? And you're going to simply paste this Blockstrap uh, file right over there. And what happens is Blockstrap gets successfully added to your space. Now, once it's there, you're pretty much good to go. Once the setup is complete, the program will open the main dashboard where all your settings are live. Now, over there, you can actually explore the Blockstrap features. So first of all, you have themes. You can change the appearance of the Roblox client, including different dark mode options. You have multi-account switching, where you can save multiple Roblox accounts and quickly switch between them without logging in and out. You get different command line arguments, fast boot options to skip the Roblox logo screen, and you get custom channel settings, which is also a very helpful feature. And to access all these features, you just go to the setting tab inside Blockstrap, and use Blockstrap daily. So once installed, Blockstrap becomes your new launcher for Roblox. All of your launching will be done through the Blockstrap application, okay? And doing that is pretty straightforward. You can also prevent it from, you know, going ahead and handle your different default Roblox URLs, meaning every time you click play on the Roblox website, it will open through the Blockstrap instead of the standard launcher. Now, let me also give you a little troubleshooting tips. So, firstly, if you run into any issues like Roblox not launching, make sure you didn't delete any core Roblox files. And if it still arises, go ahead and reinstall Roblox. If it's crashing on the start, reinstall both Roblox and Blockstrap. And if Blockstrap is not taking over Roblox, ensure it's set as the default launcher and no other clients are interfering. Always download updates directly from the GitHub page and avoid third-party modded versions that might compromise your account. So once you've gone through with all of that, that is basically about it. That is how you're going to be operating Blockstrap and using it with your Roblox. So you now have a fully Blockstrap installed and running on your PC, whether you're optimizing your gameplay, switching accounts effortlessly, or just personalizing the look of Roblox. Blockstrap is a game changer for any serious Roblox player. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more information packed videos like this explaining on how you can go ahead and get Blockstrap or any other Roblox mod for Roblox, do let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is going to be all from me. And do make sure to share this video around with people that will you know, need the help of using different mods with Roblox. So that is pretty much about it. Thank you for watching till the end. And I'll be seeing all of you wonderful people in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.